tell me when. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, we're excited uh, that uh, for our first game, uh, being here at home, playing uh, South Carolina State. Uh, they got a legendary coach. I think he's been there for 20 years, uh, winning, winning coach in school history. Uh, you look at them last year, they won six out of the last seven games. Uh, they won the Celebration Bowl. They beat Jackson State handily. Um, you know, they were playing their best ball late. They got most of their guys back, I think, nine on offense, nine on defense. So uh, we know we're going to get their best shot. Our guys are excited, uh, obviously, being the first game. Um, you know, I'm excited to watch our guys. And then, and, you know, we've got, I've said this a lot of times, most of our guys back from last year, a lot of transfers and some freshmen that can, can really play. So we're excited to watch these guys in the first game, see how we respond, uh, you know, to playing another opponent. Questions? It's good. When you haven't played a game yet, what, what, what kind of concerns you the most when you haven't gone against a live opponent? Yeah, I think it's just the unknown of a new team, you know, but the good thing is the foundation of our, our team is back from last year that we went through a lot of adversity. So we we, we should handle ourselves um, the right way, whether it's adversity, success and all that. But that's the first game is always uh, you learn about your team, a lot about your team, uh, the first game. Um, and so that's really what I'm looking forward to. You just released your first depth chart of the season. Talk about some of those battles, linebacker, yep. kick return. How do you feel like some of those positions panned out for you? Yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, the guys burned everything they've got. And the guys that you've seen up there, they burned that in different situations, whether it's scrimmages or practices and all that. And that doesn't mean there will be some guys that uh, will keep trending upward. There's a lot of guys down on that list that I think will help us before the end of the year. They keep trending upward. And um, so that, that's how we're going about this first game. Coach, in the name of you know learning stuff through this being the first game live and all this stuff, um, if everything goes according to plan in the game, uh, what's the likelihood we'll see you know other players that are deeper on the depth chart? Like let's say your uh, your Mikey Keens, your Castellanos, your Jordan McDonalds. How much time you, uh, would you uh, suggest they might be getting uh, if things go well in the game? Obviously, the win's most important. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, we're thinking about winning the game. I, I don't I don't go there in my mind. I don't care who we're playing. Um, so you know we we've got to play good football, and we've got to we've got to play good, clean, hard nosed football. Our first offense, second, our first defense, special teams, and all that. We'll cross that bridge if uh, that presents itself any game. But uh, I mean we're we're planning on putting our best foot forward in this first game. Coming off the injury that he had, what do you expect to see from R.J. Harvey? Yeah, R.J. You know he's gotten better every time he's practiced. Uh, he got a, a big bulk bulk of the the load, the last scrimmage, um, you know, just get more confidence with that knee. But, you know, our running back room is deep. I think everybody knows that. We got a lot of confidence. And, you know, I, I know they only got, what, three or four guys on there, but I think we got six running backs that can help. You have a couple of your transfer tackles earn starting jobs, if you yeah. Rabel and Swoboda. What did you see from those guys for them to earn starting roles? Yeah, yeah, they, they both have done a really good job. Um, you know, Paul Rubo, I mean, he's a guy that's in the mix too. I mean, we feel like we got three tackles that can really play, so that's really good. But both those guys earned it. Uh, they fit in really good with our team, uh, true team guys. And, you know, that offensive line, you know, really the continuity you can see every day in practice them, you know, getting better and closer and all that. But there's nothing like this first game. I mean, that's what I'm excited to, to see. You know, I told them up front that the thing I'm looking forward most is see how up front how we do this first game. Xavier Townsend is a guy that flows here a couple times. How versatile can he be for you as a freshman? Yeah, we knew when we recruited him, we thought he was a special talent. And, uh, you know, it's so important to him. And, you know, as a you know, true freshman, he's battled a little bit of a hamstring and all that. But just it's very important to him the way he's responded. He's a very talented young man. Uh, it's important to him. And I think he'll get better and better each game. Linebacking court was a, uh, a focus during the off season, uh, going into the game here. Uh, what would you like to see them do during the game to kind of, you know, learn more, or, or what's kind of the success looks like? Look yeah, like I think it's more of experience, just playing with their teammates, and you know, playing with the defensive line and the, the fence and everything that goes with that. Playing with the secondary, it all works together on defense, and so. You know, got a lot of new faces, which we, we, we all knew that. I mean, we, we had to have guys. We had Jeremiah back, and that's really about it. And so Jeremiah's had a really good fall camp. I think he's in a good spot to lead. Uh, but we got some talented guys, and it's just a matter of experience for them.
in terms of what you can expect from effort and whatnot from your team, how much more comfortable do you feel heading into this opener as opposed to last year? Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's night and day. Uh, you know, there's so many question marks. Um, you know, we had a new staff together too. You know, and so it just it's night and day. The expectations um, are, are completely different this year compared to last year's first game. It's not been a full week since you named John Reese Plumley QB1. What's been the last week of practice been like now that the offense knows who's yeah. going to be the starter? Yeah, I think anytime you name a starter, it feels different the next practice out there. And I think it's really helped our offensive guys, probably in our overall team, just who's going to lead us out there. And so the guys have responded very well to him. And he's had an extremely uh, good week and a half practice since, since we named and expect him to play well. Coach, the importance of getting off on the right foot, getting the win, getting good stuff on tape that you can help evaluate and move forward and improve. Yeah, oh, it's real important. I mean, it's uh, like I said, we're playing a, a, a very confident team that has had a lot of success uh, last year and have most of the guys back, and they got a few guys who can flat out play. So, you know, we, we need to play good, clean football. We need to get off to a good start and, uh, you know, play well in all three phases. Coach, last week is reported that Brian Blackman was listed as the defendant in a federal lawsuit from something that happened at his old school. How is that being handled internally? We're aware of it. I mean, uh, Brian's a fantastic person, but we're aware of it. But I'm not going to comment any more now. South Carolina State, uh, what are some of the challenges that they present both offensively and defensively? Uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know, they, they've got a couple guys who can flat out play. Uh, you know, they had a, a, I guess, a corner drafted high in the draft last year and I think they got some other guys who played the next level too. You know, offensively they got a big old receiver and they give him a lot of chances and he made a lot of plays last year. But uh, you know, like I said, they're a solid team. I mean, they, you, you turn on that uh, Jackson State ball game, they played extremely hard and they got after him and beat him convincingly and most of those guys are back, staff's back and all that. So we know we're going to get their, their best shot. You had the quarterback competition. Obviously, if you hadn't had it, if you had a definitive number one starter going into camp, do you feel like right now you'd be pretty much as close as you would be if, you know, under different circumstances? You know, I, I, that's a great question. You know, I mean, when you got a quarterback battle, it's different. And then, you know, it's always been one of those things for me being a former high school coach that we build around our quarterback strengths. And uh, so I think, you know, you'll, you'll see, uh, you know, that moving forward, um, you know, this first first uh, game, I mean, we want to do what he's comfortable with. And so we'll, we'll, we'll go from there, but you could see us uh, adjust and evolve as the season goes on. What kind of impact do you think freshmen can have on this team? You know, the thing about freshmen is when you recruit them, most of them are talented enough to help right off the bat. The hard thing about college football is the mental aspect for freshmen. Uh, you know, we practice, what, 23 practices already, had not played a game. And just that mental, uh, you know, everything that goes with it. It's a little bit different in high school. And so my experience is it takes some of them a little bit uh, to, uh, for the light to click on completely where they can truly play and be the best version of them without having to think and all that. But we got a real talented group and you'll see quite a few out there, you know, the first game. And, uh, you know, I think that number could grow as the season goes on. Kicker Daniel Barbarski was up and down at times early last season. He rebounded well in that bowl game, made some kicks. What are your expectations for him coming back for another Yeah, year? expectations for him to be one of the best in, in our league. That's my expectations. He had a very good bowl game. He helped us win that game. Um, you know, he's had a good fall camp. Uh, he's completely different than he was this time last year. You know, just everything that goes with it. We got a lot of confidence in him, and uh, we expect him to play well. At the top, you mentioned a South Carolina State head coach, Buddy Pugh. What's your relationship with him, and have you known him for a long time? Yeah, I mean, I know he is. Um, you know, I've talked to him before. I mean, I got a lot of respect for him. I mean, he's a guy that everybody in college football knows and, and all that. And he's done a really good job, and uh, so I'm, I'm real impressed. And he turned the film. His team's played extremely hard. Coach, uh, talk a little bit more about your return game. You've got uh, O'Keefe and Richardson back there. You're trying to put your speediest guys uh, out there. Yeah, you know, uh, any good special teams, you know, they have real return guys in the kickoff and the punt. So we're trying to to really make an emphasis on that. And of course, last year, both those guys kick returning was successful. And then punt returning, you know, we, we feel like we have guys that can do that same thing. Obviously, you're, the goal is to win this game. That's what, that's what the most important thing is. But if this matchup is elsewhere on the schedule, some folks might look at it as a bit of a tracking. But the fact that it is the opener, 
you don't have any worries about that, obviously, getting the guys focused, right? No, I mean, I, it's, no, it's the first game. And uh, like I said, our guys understand we're going to get their best. And so, you know, we need to play good football. So, you know, you, maybe if the middle of the season will be different, this is the first game. Uh, I expect our guys to come out ready. A little bit of college football, week zero this past weekend. I know you're busy here. Did you catch any games or turn on any TV? Uh, no, didn't get a chance to really catch any games. I did, you know, read some ESPN, uh, you know, articles on the phone. That's really about it. Is that good? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.